five viewers, it's Dave from Back Trails Territory here, coming at you once again with another equipment review. Uh, this time I'm out at the beautiful Walker Creek area in um, Litchfield National Park in the Northern Territory, literally just an hour's drive from um, my home. Uh, spectacular campsite we've got for the night, got our own waterfall and um, swimming pond. Out here with my daughter for the night, we're doing some hammock camping, so I don't know if you can see it up there, I've got my UK Hammocks Expedition set up. So when I did the video review on uh, back in February out at Bushlaw, and my daughter's using her DD Frontline. So, absolutely spectacular spot here, we, we love it already. Uh, review I've got today, so on a uh, piece of equipment called the Packlight. Supplied to me by Dennis from Survival Supplies Australia. Thanks a lot, Dennis, and I'm really sorry this uh, review took so long. Um, I tried to film it about three weeks ago on another trip out in um, Arnhem Land, where we weren't quite as close to the water due to the fact there was a four and a half metre crocodile resident living there. Uh, the camera went leg up, so um, fortunately I had to push the review back. So the pack light, what we have here, it's a uh, self-charging... Um, I guess the only way to call it is a... UV type light. I'll explain to Dennis, it looks to me like mung beans that have been cryovacked into a plastic bag. What happens is um, you leave these out in the sun all day to charge and you'll get a bit of a glow out of it at night. However, if you hit it with a with direct um, torch light, it actually has a quite an intense glow. Um, these are really handy around the camp and um, see a lot of a applications for it. Obviously, uh, when it gets dark tonight, we'll um, do the actual field test. So this one, the pack light model here supplied by Dennis, I was going through my kit and I found the Packlight glow stick. I have no idea where I got this from, but um, it's made by the same company, it's the same, same idea. I actually use this at night at the end of my hammock, just as if I'm going off um, sort of walking at night, just so I can see where the campsite is. So yeah, comparatively reasonable size, they fold up quite small. Uh, it can be hung from the end of a tent. What like applications for this? I can see in the camp area just for general illumination. Um, for search and rescue, this, this would be ideal. If you happen to find yourself in a um, bad situation, give it a yeah, 10, 20 seconds burst with your um, headlamp or whatever, and it's going to light up quite big for, if there's our searchers out looking for you. And also for, for those people who've um, got kids, I can see a lot of applications for it as a night light if you're out camping or even at home. If you've got kids who don't like the night, Sort of don't like the dark, um, firing this up at night, turning the light out. It'll slowly um, get darker and darker as the night goes. We'll um, see how bright it goes tonight. So once again, shout out to Dennis. Thanks a lot for supplying this, mate. And um, we'll see how it goes in the night time.